most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. What's always easy to spot in every company is who is the correct manager and who is the wrong manager. Sometimes the wrong manager can get the right manager fired and the right manager can lose her rights in every way. You see, a company is expecting two things from their employees. They're expecting loyalty, of course. They're expecting them to provide information or provide products or services to the standards of the corporation. But when an employee tries to start to make her own little family out of the employee group, lie, steal, and cheat people out of their rights to provide feedback to the corporation about potential risks to a company, they don't think about where their rights might begin and end. A true manager does not betray a customer's feedback because a customer's feedback might represent 250 people. At the same time, a customer's feedback might represent invisible crime. See, invisible crime says I'll just make up decisions about what I want products to be priced or how I want to just let things go out the door. But every company has vendors that are expecting them to sell what they've got. What we know, of course, about discount stores is that they might be getting bags of things or foods or beverages that don't quite make the traditional standard of a company. So instead of selling them at the standard price, they may sell them at a discounted price. We also know that there are corporations that care about poverty, so they will put different prices on their products at different places because at the end of the day, they still make a profit. So a product that is sold at one store in a particular community might be the same product sold at a different store, even from the same national company, but be a different price because the community cannot afford it in that way. It's how we've seen it across, well, our culture, that I can go to one Walmart store and pay a price for something, and go to another Walmart store for the same thing, but pay a lesser price or a more expensive price depending on the demographics of the community. Most people in marketing know what that's about, but what we do have are people who are impoverished that look for, look for any vice to play back at their employees. Because maybe they don't like someone in their store or outside their store, but they do that because they recognize that their lies could be caught by someone who's innocent. One thing we've known since the beginning of time, since Bible times and before, is that the person who is honest and full of integrity is almost always the one that is hit by those who have none. When a person has clothing, though that clothing belongs to them, when a person lies about their rights to taint the color of their clothing to make them black clothes brown, they have lied about their rights. But what is the meaning of that color change? Is that a way to say that Sheriff did this to put someone at ill ease? Is that a way to say that a black group did this to show you they're going to be in charge? Or is it just a way to haze and harass someone? If you have a marvelous employee that is constantly staring at a man's face after he has been sexually assaulted and his beard cut, you might want to look to that employee's whereabouts in the evening hours to determine whether she's a part of it or know something about it. In life, what we know about people who think they're clever is they think they're so clever that they can't get out of things. What we know about people from certain communities is that they will lie, they will steal, and they steal, and they will cheat other people out of opportunities. What I know is that there was a point in time where I was having a lot of effort being made towards someone I wanted to marry, and that person finally started to pay attention and remember all the times I had made that effort, communicated that purpose, and done it over practically a third of my lifetime as an adult. What was marvelously uncomfortable was that other people started to play into that marriage proposal. They started to lie, steal, and cheat me out of my rights to explain myself and what I was doing. She started soliciting other people for their opinions. She started to call other people and make stinks. And she started to make drama queen situations where she could walk away saying, I have no responsibility to how you feel about me. That's not really true. That individual came to my home privately all the time after one of my life partners left. That individual brought her children to my home regularly. That individual received many benefits from me outside of our 
business relationship and friendship that individual talked about anything under the sun with me when she was struggling in her own situation that individual would almost always call me when she was having a rough day because I believe she knew that I would make things okay I also gave her pretty good advice along the way in life we have moments of time to speak the truth about our rights and the one thing that every person must ask themselves is where do my rights in this world begin and end because the next time you touch somebody in the night they might just wake with God's help and God's angels may just hold you to the ground in a way you can't even move I've made mention of police officers of faith who've been dumbfounded and stumped in their attempt to lie after they've played stupid games on a man's life I have seen the Holy Ghost work I have experienced the Holy Ghost working and the people who don't get this the people who abuse God's rights to other people often are found dead with COVID you see people can play like they're your family or friends and they might be awfully in some way or through bloodline but that doesn't mean that they have earned their right over time to control anything you do or say it also doesn't mean that they have any right to your property your paperwork or your money in any way the people who continue to lie about their rights must recognize that when they do that they have given up their own right to peace quiet love and understanding we used to have marvelous songs during the late 60s and early 70s that talked about the importance of letting life life around you be just that someone else's life but today we have a lot of channels that allow for voyeuring and yet there are bitches on wheels who spend a lot of their time taking a man's time taking a man's work taking a man's hours taking a man's wages because when a man is serving you for free he's giving up the time from his regular clients to be paid